I believe you are doing fine. I welcome you into my YouTube channel. This is me again, Jemi Naftali, on the pediatric world, the only channel that we talk about common illnesses that affect children while growing up. And here we talk in a language that everybody is able to understand. We want to be as layman as possible so that every person is able to understand. Here we create the awareness on the common illnesses affecting children. We want uh, to provide the knowledge and the, the know-how uh, on what really happens to these kids, to that mother who is taking care of this uh, child, the guardian. We want to include everybody into the management of this babies so i welcome you into today's episode and today's episode is all about continuation on severe acute malnutrition remember the malnutrition in children and we are going to see how to take the work in classification of severe acute malnutrition remember we said there are several ways of uh, classifying severe acute malnutrition we have the weight for height which we call z score we also said that we have got the edema. Use of edema, we classify severe acute malnutrition. And now we have the MOAC, the mid-upper arm circumference. So this is what we are going to be talking about today because we say it is the most preferred method of classifying severe acute malnutrition more than any other method. So stay tuned. And MOAC tape is a, a color-coded tape it is a tape that is color coded what do i mean it has got a zone of green it has got a zone of uh, yellow and also red so we have got three colors here uh, the green zone the yellow zone and also the red zone and each has got interpretation of what it means so for example the first zone which is the green zone what does it mean this means that the child is not malnourished or it includes well-nourished uh, plus those at risk. So these children are well, they are not malnourished. If uh, you do uh, the, the, the circumference and it gives, it, go, it lies into the green zone, it means that child is well-nourished or that child may be at risk if care is not taken. If you don't feed these uh, kids well, they may proceed into getting malnutrition. So we want to stay there in the green zone. How about the yellow zone? Remember we said it's color coded, three colors. The yellow zone, so this is coded yellow, it is color yellow, and this means that the child is moderately malnourished. So we have some uh, malnutrition here, but they are malnourished uh, moderately be if the child lies into the yellow zone. How about the red zone? This means that the child is severely malnourished and red remember uh, red is danger so if we are in the red zone this tells us that this child is severely malnourished so these are the three uh, color coded zones in the MOAC tape and we have said the interpretation remember we said um uh the normal those at risk it should be the mark normally we say it is in centimeters and it should be 13.5 centimeters and above if a child is at risk, the MOAC is 12.5 to 13.4. So these are the children that are at risk and maybe they lie in the green zone and also those above 13.5, they lie in the green zone because we said these are well babies and those may be at risk. Um, the moderately uh, malnourished children, their MOAC is 11.5. I'm just reminding you because we said this previously. Uh, the mo moderately malnourished ha uh, mark is 11.5 to 12.4 centimeters. And this, I believe, they are those that fall into the yellow zone, those with moderate malnutrition. And those with severe, severe acute malnutrition, then their mark is below 11.5. So they are 11.4 and below. And these are those that lie in now in the red zone, the danger zone. The severely malnourished children. I hope you get that. That the MOAC has got uh, the three uh, coded colors, and we have said what it means in each. How about how do we take this MOAC? This is what we are going to concentrate on the MOAC. 
uh, because we said it is more preferred than any other method, more than the weight for height, more than the edema in classification of severe acute malnutrition. It is the most preferred and we said the results in our previous episode. So then how do we take the MOAC tape? First of all, how does it even look alike? I have something here. I hope everybody is able to see. You see this part? Sorry. This is the green, the green zone. The green zone, you can see it. This is what we are saying, that these children that lie there are uh, well-nourished or they may be at risk if they are um, at risk if they are below 13.4. So the green one, we, are, we can smile if they lie there on the green zone. We can smile and say these babies are well. How about the yellow? You can see it here, this one here, this one. You can see the yellow coded area. So this one means that this child is moderately malnourished because we say when it comes to moderate malnutrition, the mark is between 11.5 to 12.4 centimeters and they lie here in the yellow zone. So the yellow one, the child is moderately malnourished. Now we go to the red zone. We said red means danger. It means danger. So you see the red zone here. This means that these children are very, very sick. They are severely malnourished. And why are we using the upper arm? We are using this upper arm here and we are using the left to be specific. We don't use the right arm. Uh, we want to measure the muscles. Remember we said in severe acute malnutrition, it is the muscles that are mostly affected. They are greatly affected. They are the ones that are really wasted. So that's why we want to measure and see the centimeters. That's why we use the mark to measure this. So what are the steps in taking now the measurements? So first thing is to determine the midpoint, what we are saying, the upper arm, the point. So we measure from here, the tip of the shoulder. This is the shoulder here and also the elbow. So this is the part that we are interested in. So we measure from the shoulder to the elbow. And what happens next? So in medical terms, in medical terms, from the shoulder there's a ditch here, and this is what we normally call the acromion. We use the acromion, and at the elbow here, we have uh, something else, Something else we call the olecranon. So it is the acromion and olecranon. This, this is what we determine to measure in between. Uh, respectively, that is in medical terms. Just remember we measure from the tip of the shoulder. For, this is easier for you guys. From the tip of the shoulder to the elbow, this is the part that we usually measure. Uh, place the tape on the left arm. We say we use the, uh, the left forearm and, the, and not the right one. And you make sure that the hand is hanged down at the side of the body. It is the child, ensure that the child is straight as you do that, as you measure that. Um, uh, measure the mark, measure the mark, and while ensuring that the tape neither pinches the arm or it's not loose. So what we do, this is how we do it after you, after you locate the mid upper arm, which is around here. You measure this, all this. How many, if you see, if whatever centimeters we get, we get when we measure here, we divide by two and we mark there. And this is the mid upper arm. This is where we go. So you measure from here to here, um, the half of it. For example, if the distance from here to here is 20, so we measure the 10, the one that is in between, and this is we mark, and this is where the mark tape is going to be put. So what we mean is that you measure, we ensure that this is it. This is it. This is it. So something like that. So we mean that we ensure that the tape is not so tight that it is pinching the skin. We don't want to be so tight. Again, we don't want to be so loose so that we get the correct measurement. So this is what we mean. I hope you get the points and we divide by two after getting the distance from here and that is our mid upper arm circumference. So if you measure and we get to the green zone, we are relaxed and we say that that child is well nourished. When we come to the yellow, we are a bit worried because this child is moderately malnourished 
And when it comes to red danger sign, we mean that this child is sick. This child is sick. This child is severely malnourished. So I hope this is clear. So this is how we get uh, the measurements. Um, and after we get that, we measure to the nearest 0 0.1 centimeters. We say the measurement is in centimeters when we are doing more. So people, this is it. Every medical pro, uh, practitioner should have this. This is it. When you see this next time, please know it's used. This is the mock tape. The mid upper arm, I mean, the, the mock tape used to measure uh, the circumference, to measure the mid upper arm circumference. And we have said, I've tried interpreting when we say it is severe acute malnutrition. So, this is it. This is it, and this is about the MOAC tape and how to take the MOAC, uh, uh, the mid upper arm circumference. So, thank you, people. We are going to go bit by bit. Now you understand. You can be able to tell what this is, how it is used, and where it is used. You can be able to interpret. So, thank you so much. Now we have classified um, the, the severe acute malnutrition. Uh, by use of the mock tape. The rest, remember, we said wait for height, so we need to take a uh, weight. That one we not we are not going to demonstrate because it's easy. The height we are not going to demonstrate because it's also very easy because it's another way of classifying severe acute malnutrition is weight, weight for height. So this is what I wanted really to demonstrate because it's what we use most to classify where this term is in terms of our. Uh, malnourishment so thank you people for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed please hit on that subscribe button subscribe uh, like and share these videos widely so that people can get them people can be part of it please comment so that we can know where we are at any question uh, write anything comment and so that to show we are together remember also to put on switch on your notifications so that you can be the first person to know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for staying tuned.